Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More on that a little later. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. So this is a little bit different. Essentially, I was planning for my other videos this morning because I filmed in bulk. If you don't already know this, you probably do. I'm probably due off holiday right now. So that's where we're at with that. Should be just coming back from a beautiful two week holiday in Egypt. Hopefully I've read loads of books, had a great time, not got too tanned, prepped a load of videos and we're back ready to hit the ground running. But I was walking around the unit and I found one or two things and I was kind of like, where's, where has this been? Like, I, I, I remember getting these in. I think I remember nearly every single one. Is there any I don't remember? One that I have no idea what it is. I don't remember getting it. But I basically walked around and picked out a couple of plants for you that I just forgot that I had. It's that simple. And some of these plants, guys, literally, no word of a lie, some of these plants down here, I have a tray of. And you're probably thinking, how can you lose a tray of plants? How can you not know that you had a tray of plants? But honestly, when they're up, up north, right? So when they're higher up, a lot of the time you get on the scissor lift and you water and you just stand there and you just tip the hose like this and you just water. You don't even, you can't necessarily see it if some of these plants are very big. And I will tell you which plants specifically I'm talking about when we get to it. So I'm just watering these plants. I'm not necessarily even looking. Because there's so much in here, it's overwhelming. I will be trying to do basically some rescue boxes soon. And I guess that sort of fits the theme of today's video. I'm going to be selling some plant rescue boxes shortly. So I'm coming back of holiday probably now. Give me a couple of weeks to prep that. And we should have some rescue boxes. I do think they're limited to the UK. But essentially, I'll be selling some less than perfect plants. So you might pay like 30, 40 pounds and you'll get like a bumper box of loads of plants that are less than perfect, like they need rehabbed, all that sort of stuff. Pest free, of course, but they might look a bit ugly. I guess that kind of fits in with this. Because as you might imagine, if I've got plants here that I didn't know I had, you can probably surmise, maybe have a little guess as to the condition that they're probably in. So they're not horrific, but they these are not Instagram worthy, guys. These are absolutely not Instagram worthy. I'm so itchy. I think it's my turn. I'm so itchy. Right, so I'm just going to pick them up. Maybe some of y'all remember them. Maybe you won't. Let's find out as we go. I don't have many, but let's go. Right, first plant. And now I do have more than one of this first plant because I saw it. I saw it because I was setting up to film this video and I looked up and I can see maybe three more of these. Now they don't look like good variegates. That's probably why they're up there. It looks like we've got more solid white, which is a real shame. But do you all, do you all remember these? Look at the stage. Literally, this, can you see the theme of this video? Can you, can you get in here? Can you just feel what's going on here? This here, if you can't tell, I promise you it is variegated it's easy. And to be fair, this one has the tiniest amount of variegation on it. Let's see that. You see that? Literally, proof, solid proof, not clickbaiting, it's variegated. I mean, this one probably isn't, but literally variegated. And down here, bless its heart, we have an all green leaf that doesn't want to focus. And then we have an all variegated leaf because that's just what we hate, isn't it? That's what we hate when we propagate plants. So I, I question how good these are because honestly, they, they don't look so hot. They look a bit wobbly in the pot. And up there, I have a couple more. It has made me, please take this as a good thing from this video. It has made me want to get the others down, clump them all together and make us easy out of it. And you know what, what will be, will be. So genuinely just plant them up. I might convert them to ponds so I can put them in the house, put them in a dark spot. You know, we do it as easy. We put it somewhere we shouldn't and we don't water them, even though that whole we shouldn't water it thing is a fucking myth. But anyway, that's what I feel like doing, to be honest. I feel like grouping them together and doing that. So that is a good thing that's come out of this. I thought, hey, I've only got that. What am I going to do with that? Although this one is not so bad, but I'm going to do that at some point. So you might see that. I will have to wait, obviously, till the back of holiday. But I think I'll get the others down. I'll have a quick look around, see what I can find, and we will convert it. And hopefully it works in pawn. Let me know if you have any kind of ZZ in pawn or anything of the sort. Let me know if it survived because it would be a real shame if they didn't after all this time, right, of surviving the depths of hell in this shop. It would be a real shame if they didn't survive. And to be fair, there's some good roots on the on the bottom. You see this? That is actually a root coming around the bottom. So, eh, I don't know. I must have had that a hell of a long time for them to be like that in there. Like, literally. And you can see how badly they've grown as well. That's... Can you tell I forgot? Not exactly Instagram worthy. This one's the only redeeming one, this one here, because as I say, there, there is minimal variegation. It's cute. It's cute. But these are great plants. And I remember when I had the full batch of these in... When was that? 2020? Maybe? 
Something like that. I can't remember now. Um, they were beautiful, to be fair, but oh, they were temperamental. They were temperamental. You guys might remember. I'm sure I had one in my flat and it was like on the kitchen table and it just hated me. It just hated me. It was dying a death. So I'm going to see what we can do with these. I think we'll convert them. We'll do it on a repot. We'll chill. We'll have a laugh. And I will get the others down and we will clump them together and we will see if we can do something nice because honestly i kind of wanted a zz for the house anyway i was thinking about a raven which i might still get because i love them so much and it would probably go somewhere that was maybe less than friendly for a plant genuinely but it would also be nice to clump these together as well so let me know what you think please say a moment of prayers for this beautiful zz plant because that's all i can show you because the other one is a bit crap but there you go variegated zz who remembers who doesn't? Let me know in the comments below because I did not remember. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. No matter what Squarespace template you go for, it's really, really easy to add new sections that still fall within your design choice. It's all laid out in categories depending on what you want and it all blends seamlessly with the rest of your website so you don't even need to worry about the design once you've chosen the theme that you would like. It's all just going to work seamlessly. If you want to create a really sleek looking website either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from voiceover me. Back to the video. This I saw today. This is the plant that there is a full tree of, by the way. It absolutely will go in a rescue box because why not? Because I don't think these plants have much of a value anymore. So this here, literally, this is Philodendron White Knight. And honestly, it is quite cute. This, this does look pathetic. And I'll tell you now, these plants do kind of grow this way if you're not careful. They haven't had my feed on them. I wonder if I were to head cut them, put them in a ton of my feed, they would start getting a bit more luscious because no doubt they've grown from literally nothing. They've grown from not much variegation and now they've got loads. But these plants, honestly, if you get a nice big pretty one, they are actually really nice. And the variegation is like lily white. It might even be whiter than an owlbull white. Let me just actually find that out for you. <sighs> you know what? Either on par with Monstera Alba white or even slightly whiter. I'm not even kidding. So yes, Philodendron White Knight, they do tend to look like this. They can be a lot prettier, evidently. That's why this one looks a bit crap. It will go in a rescue box for sure and you will get the plant. So the difference is you have this one, which is filled in with white knight. This has like a, I, I call it like a rhubarby color. If you see the stems there like that, maybe it's easy to show you that way. Like this isn't green, right? It's got a tinge of like rosy to it. So that's philodendron white knight. The nicer one, in my opinion, is the philodendron white wizard, which is all green. And I mean, the stems are literally green. So it depends whether you care about the rhubarbiness, but that's it. But I love the sheaths on these plants. I always have done. You get this absolutely stunning, like candy cane sheath effect. And it is so nice. And it even happens on the non-variegated ones, by the way, because if you look here, these lower leaves, right? They're not variegated. But if you actually look really closely at the sheaths at the bottom, they still do it which is kind of nice to be fair. And I'm pretty sure White Wizard does the same thing. So I don't think it's just this. I think they both do it. That is kind of nice, but you can probably imagine without the white, it's not as sexy. These are in garden centers. I have seen them. Actually, that's a lie. I haven't seen them. I've seen the White Wizard in garden centers. And I mentioned that on a video a few weeks back. But seriously, if they're in garden centers and the, is it White Princess or something like that's in garden centers, the Pink Princess in garden centers. I'm telling you now, if the Wizard is in garden centers, the night will be as well, literally, 100%. So if you can't find it in garden centers, look online, but you will find it. And these will go in a rescue box because I literally have a tray of maybe 30 of them that I didn't know existed. And they're all pretty similar to this, to be honest. That's generally the quality that would come out. So it's not terrible. It's just a bit sad looking really, isn't it? So there you go. Philodendron White Knight. I had no idea I still had these. I don't even know how long I've had them for. I suspect I've grown them from nothing. And I mean nothing, like a tiny head cutting or maybe even a wet stick. I, I don't know, because they've started off real small. Who, literally, who knew? Who knew? 
another plant to commemorate <laughs> plants that have been lost and found in this shop. And this is not the only one, and I did propagate a ton of this a couple of weeks ago. But I just wanted to talk very briefly about the beautiful Philodendron Florida Ghost because it is one of my favorite plants. It is amazing. And it's pushing out a new leaf. Oh, goody, can I force it? Oh, you should never force it. Literally. Oh, these are like farts. Literally, if you have to force it, it's probably not a good thing. There we go. There we go. Okay. Shouldn't have done it. Did it. Don't do it at home. So there, there you go. Fell down for a ghost. So uh, this does look a bit shit because obviously, as I say, it was neglected. I didn't know I had it. I don't even know where it's come from. I think it came from a random tree. So it's looking really bad. This is not good. Literally, I just wanted to show you it because it's really quick when spring hits, right? And these plants know because this is the two new leaves that have just hit as spring is starting to hit. And this doesn't even have like a, a story arc to it. This was all green. This was just crap. Look at this. It's been growing all green for ages. As soon as spring hits, bang. There you go. Literally. Literally. So I just wanted to show that. I'm not going to linger on it because you're probably sick of Florida Ghost now. I think I've mentioned it in so many videos. Because it's spring, it's coming. We love it. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with this one. Again, I'm propagating some, but it's more for me because you can find these in garden centers. This isn't me like trying to sell you a ghost or anything. They are around, but hopefully you can get better quality than that. I would hope that you can. You really should be getting better quality than that anyway. Bless him. He's even got some weird like growth where he's just sort of gone back on himself. It's so bizarre. And obviously at some point I think I've cut it and I don't remember when I've cut it. But if you look there, it's been cut at the top there. And it's never bothered to grow, and the whole plant's just grown a new ghost, so... They they can't be told what to do, can they? So yeah, fill it down Florida Ghost. They look a lot nicer than this, but this is literally how quickly they can change on you. So if yours is all green, literally don't fret. Any day now, you might get a bit of that. Right, so this is... What is it? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Literally, what... Oh, really? Really? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, apparently, apparently this is Anthurium Renaissance. According to this tag right here, that I did definitely not write. That is not my handwriting. Could be one of two people's handwriting. I don't remember Anthurium Renaissance looking like this. I'm starting, now I'm hearing the name, I'm starting to feel like I did haul this a long time ago. I bet it didn't look like this. I don't know if it's supposed to be variegated. I'm, I could have sworn I saw variegation before. Yeah, there is a little bit on this new leaf here. Hopefully you can see a bit of it. If I put it right up to the camera, can you see a little bit of variegation? Maybe yes, maybe no. Don't really know. That doesn't want to focus. How dare you? There you go. I'm pretty sure, guys, it's not supposed to look like that. Surely not. Surely, surely this is neglect. Um, yeah, that looks like, oh, you know what? Is it dying or not? This is so weird. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but I'm pretty sure it's not this. I feel like it should just be green. I've never known a plant like that, but it doesn't look like it's full on decaying. It's really weird. It's almost like the leaf is bruised. I'm going to assume it's edema, which just happens basically when you don't water it enough, and then it gets absolutely flooded and the cells just can't cope. I don't think that's normal at all. I think this is all just weird. And then you've got this one at the bottom that's just dying, but also it almost looks variegated sometimes because when you look at this petiole, see that? It just looks really weird. So... I just wanted to mention this because I don't really know what it's doing or why it is doing. It, would it go in a rescue box? Maybe. I don't, I don't know, really. It's just a bit random. So let me know if you remember this. I, f I feel like I might remember hauling this, but it didn't look like this. I think this is all damage. But it's so weird because it looks like it's damaged, but when you feel the leaves are completely intact, they don't feel mushy, they don't feel crispy. It's really weird, but I think if I turn it around that way, you can start to see where it's probably just, it's probably just a huge lack of nutrients, guys. More than anything, I'd say it's probably a lack of nutrients, but I don't really have any desire to rehab this one, I'm going to be honest, because I, I don't really like the look of it, but there you go. And the Renaissance, looking pretty, pretty terrible. If it even is Renaissance. If it is, let me know. If it isn't, let me know. Until then, I await your feedback. Right, so this next plant also represents kind of one to three trays full of it because there's these and then there is a slightly different hybrid in another tray. And I can't remember which one's which. Ben was supposed to keep tabs. Ben might know. Ben might not know. We don't know what Ben knows, okay? We need to understand this in these videos. We will never know what Ben knows. We will never know what Ben doesn't know, okay? 
But these, this is something I've plucked out of a tray of colocasia. And you might remember ages ago, I had colocasia seeds or babies or whatever, and occasionally I would hold up like one pot of basically seedlings. Well, they got planted up and they, they got forgotten about. Now, this is not the biggest one I've got. I've got two huge ones over there, but I'm not going to pick them up. They've had a bit more love. But as for the rest of them, literally just been like that. And you can actually see the color change because some of them have this color, which th this is sexy. And no, it's not black magic before you ask. That's absolutely not what it is. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not black magic. Some sort of hybrid. But we have that, which is just literally, I'm wearing a black hoodie. So if it looks black, it's because it is. Then this that hasn't, this is the newest leaf, so it hasn't quite turned. I do think it depends on light. And I think so because of this. I think this has been partially in the light and I think partially another leaf has overlapped it and it's sort of dark. But if you want dark, dark, that is your boy, is it not? I mean, look at that, that's crazy. Colocasia, very much like Alocasia, only they are way more water living, I would say. In a lot of respects, they're a lot easier. They have a not so good leaf to petiole ratio. A little bit like when I complain about a what do you call it? Philodendron giganteum, things like that. This is not as good. So if you like the look of this, but you think you could do better, maybe an alocasia would be better for you because you're not going to get this as much. But if you want to grow it literally anywhere, honestly, this is brilliant. You can just grow these in water, guys. You do not need to pop these if you don't want to. You can just grow in a big vase and it'll be quite happy. They run like mad. They produce pops. It's all good. This one's growing beautifully. It's growing a lovely white little root. And it's very, very happy. They grow from corms all as well. So even these, I don't know what's going to happen to these. These could be a rescue. I just can't really tell you what they are at the time. I just know it's some hybrid. Ben might know. Ben might know. I don't know. Let's find out what Ben knows and then come back to this and see what happens. But yeah, I've got a few of these. Most of them are this height. Most of them have three leaves. Kind of it is what it is. Not all of them are dark. There is another tray of just green. But mm, I don't know. Like, like I say, I've got a giant one of these over there. And again, not black magic, but it may as well be. It looks exactly the same. Although this one does actually have a lot of purple on it. I don't know if you ever get that on camera. Maybe you can see the purple. Maybe you can see purple. I'm not really sure. But I've got a few. <sighs> not entirely sure what to do with them, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, this, this, this is a blast from the past. I didn't think I had any of them left. Any of them left. And I have a big Syngonium tray that, honestly, it's really unruly. It's not attractive. It's really bad. And it sort of sits over there. And it's got everything in it. It's got, like, Syngonium panda in it. It's got confetti in it. It's got red spot, aurea, owl ball, pink splash. You name it, it's in there. Wendlandia is in there. It's all happening in that tray. But what I didn't realize I had... And I thought I'd hoped I'd got rid of them all because I literally can't stand them. And to be fair, this is really a hallmark and it's been forgotten and not seen. Do you remember these guys? Do you remember these guys? The newest leaf on this one is kind of telling what it is, but I appreciate this is not ideal. There are three in here and they are equally horrific looking. These have been neglected. These are not fun. But if I just hold that up, can you see what this is? This is, what was it called? What was it even called? Was it strawberry ice? Syngonium strawberry ice? It wasn't strawberry shake. Maybe it was strawberry ice. Do you remember these? These went for so much money as well. And I never understood it. I never understood it. I remember hauling them in and I felt like I had to give a big disclaimer of like, yo, I still hate this plant. It's just, I'm a plant shop and I have to sell these things. It's no, it's no personal, you know, it's not hard feelings, but I remember these. And I remember even trying to grow one and not hate it. Do you remember that? I potted one up in the studio. God, I don't even think I'll find the footage because I don't know when I did it. But I tried to pot it up and love it. I tried to care and I still couldn't care. I hate these plants. So it's really no wonder that that is what it is. And again, that'll probably go in the rescue box. Literally, I haven't fully worked out what's going in yet. Essentially, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fully sweep this shop and just put all of the plants that I want to be rescued over there. So I can prioritize for the good stuff and then we'll just see how we go. So literally anything could be in there, guys. But oh my goodness, this is horrific. I think this one here on this side is actually reverted. The one on the other side kind of looks reverted. I think it's only this middle one that hasn't. And even then, it's only now it's decided to do anything at all. Let me know if there's literally like... Let me know what these are actually going for now and if there's any value at all because I'll be very surprised if there is, quite honestly. The only thing worth saving off this entire plant would be to do a tiny little head cutting of this middle one here and just go and then grow that out. 
But who wants to do that? Do you want to do that? I don't want to do that. These are horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They are absolutely gross. And it is no wonder that I forgot about these. And yes, I know. I'm, I'm hating on a plant. Oh my God. I've done this on this channel in the past. And to be honest, I've, I've gotten a lot of shit for not even doing that on this channel and being talked about like I've hated on plants. But you needn't worry this time, guys, because I am genuinely hating on this plant. Let it, let it be known, literally. This is nasty. And if you like this, I, I, we need to speak with each other because I don't understand why anyone can like this. Now, I, I know this is like a bad representation, so literally I'm not judging too harsh, harshly, but even when I had a nice one upstairs, I remember picking a really nice one. It still sucked. It was still shit. So let me know what you think of these. Let me know if there's any value in them anymore at all. I don't care. It's going into rescue. I don't care. But let me know because I'm really curious. But that, oh, bless it. It's just, it's awful, isn't it? That is awful. Awful, awful plant. All right, so the next plant I have to show you is not an awful plant. I just forgot I had it. I forgot I had it. And it's looking really crap. I'm just Let me just pull a little bit of crust off it. There we go. It's looking a little bit crap, but someone in the shop, can you tell who it might be, had not forgot we'd had it. Why? Because it's had its head lobbed off. Now, I don't know when it's had its head lobbed off, which means there's other ones around. I'm sure I saw one earlier on somewhere in that vicinity. It's had its head lobbed off and it's been growing back. I think this is a really beautiful plant and I'm going to have to propagate this because honestly, this is not really sold. I don't see this sold very much and I think it does have some reasonable botanical significance. I thought I read on the internet and I'm willing to be wrong, but I thought I read on the internet that this plant was like the first known hybrid or something. That might be a load of bollocks, who knows. But this here, hopefully you can see it. You might not know what it is. Let's give you a second to see if you can guess what it is. That's what it looks like on the front. The back of it might have you knowing a little bit more. That's the back. And this is not mature either. That changes quite a bit when it gets maturity. It goes a bit weird, goes a bit funky, goes a bit webbed. But this here, if you didn't guess, this is philodendron. I think it's Corsinianum X. I think the X just, which basically means it's of botanical significance. I can't speak today. So what's happened is at some point is that this has been cut probably by Ben, because I do not, I forgot I even had this. I'm actually surprised it's grown tall. And it, don't get me wrong, the old leaves look real nasty, guys. Like, you know me, I hide nothing on this channel. This is nasty. But at some point it has been cut and we have one plant growing completely out new and then the old plant's got a bud on it. So that tells me it hasn't been cut too long ago. But as I say, I'm going to take propagations of this plant and I'm going to grow this one out because I just don't really see it sold. And it is very weird. I would, I, to be honest, when this gets mature, I would actually call this an acquired taste because it's not for everyone. I'll try and put in a picture here of what they look like mature. You really will either love or hate them. This is a little bit like a philodendron UPI situation. Let me know if you do love it or hate it. Let me know. In terms of it being not mature, I like this. This is what they do. They look a little bit more regular, you could say. And again, their backs are really nice and sort of maroon burgundy color so they are very very nice but they will change you feel me like that one has decided to fold over a little bit imagine that on steroids basically and that's how that's going to work so yeah i forgot i had this i forgot i had this so let's get propagating on this and let's get this one moving because this this one's probably worth sorting out i honestly thought in all this time that there would be a lot of these around but there kind of isn't not really so i am going to do something about that and i'm going to propagate it but i don't really know why i'm telling you that because it's going to take so long there's not another point but let me know what you think about this plant if you like it or not when it's mature because as i say it's a little bit different it's a little bit different but i might have to grow one mature just to see it's pretty cool. And that concludes this video. That was a selection of weirdness that I forgot about. Some of them are really nostalgic for me, like the, specifically the ZZ plant. I'm actually really excited to group those together. So that's definitely something I want to do. And if you see me not doing that, please just, I don't care what video it is, just randomly put a comment to remind me because it will be a simple case of me forgetting. But I really, really, really want to group those together. But other than that, literally, I probably have so much more of this in the shop. I can't even tell you. This is literally, right, to put this into perspective, this is literally me walking around at eye line. Eye line. Maybe slightly above eye line. One tray above eye line. So the third row back there. So that's like me looking around the shop and going one, two, three. And just not even rifling through. Just eyeballing and having a little bit of a poke around. And I found that. I don't even know what's at the top, guys. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
or on the shop. So that's fun. So stay tuned for more of those videos in the future. If I ever do go upstairs and I find some more weird and wonderful things, you will absolutely find out about it. Obviously, I have to get those easies down anyway, so you might see another one of these videos. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you'd like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to subscribe because still only half of you are subscribed, which is kind of wild because I don't actually know how you manage to stumble across my videos every week. Albeit they are at the same time every week, so maybe it's actually quite easy. But if you'd like to subscribe, then I would love to have you as part of the family. That's it for this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.